And welcome to the Big T Show. I am Big T. We coming you live. Oh, no, we're not coming from you live. You know we're live. <laughs> but listen, I, I'm just super excited. Uh, we have just uh, just a, a legend in the studio. We're gonna call this episode seven five. We got my friend Mike from the seven five. Yo How yo yo seven five in a, the house. A lot of you might know him as Mike Dowd from the fucking seven five. One of the best. Uh, documentary movies, what, what, just two hours of uh, you know of what good it was? Time? It's 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 an amalgamation of life, man. Like, like everybody's fucking like that. everybody's I, life. I like you know? that. I like if, that. Who didn't do what I did? <laughs> You're all full of shit if you didn't. <laughs> well, speaking of life, um, we, we, Ryan's like, hey, yeah, no, there's gonna be a music artist here, blah blah blah. All right, let's see. I'm cool. Who it is? Computer seven, seven five, five. Oh, seven five episode, <laughs> and we know each other. Yeah, yeah man, man, this is my guy, man. Big T, shout out to Big T, man. He's so funny and has so much great energy, man. We had so much of a great time performing together, man. This is my brother. We got an awesome relationship, so I'm happy to be on his show today. Awesome. And big shout out to the other seventy five, the OG seventy five. <laughs> OG75 is in the building for real, man. Oh, 75. I have nothing 75. I'm approaching 375. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got my edible here. Uh, I, I pull the muscle smoking so I can't smoke. It's yeah. been like over a week. You wow. Know I mean? like, There's some people pull the muscle wiping. <laughs> I don't wiping. I got no, the, you don't I, wipe no more? I got <laughs> people are fighting over toilet paper. I'm like, yo, you're the what's wrong with That's why we have a virus. You're wiping? Oh, that's, yeah. Listen, listen. We all did corrupt shit. I, I live on the summer. I used to sell blood. Dr. Summer off every summer, 800 a week, work is comp, 3,000 a month from the insurance company, selling, well, hanging out with my ex-girlfriend's youngest sister. You know what I mean? I, I can't wipe anymore. I can't, even got a wallet in the back. I don't even, you know, I got money in a fucking credit card in my pocket in the front. The bidet is where it's at is what I'm trying and to And I got say. my management company in the building, Empire underscore Platinum. We in the building, man. A true solid management company man which uh, our friendship and our brotherhood is, is extended for many, many years and They've um helped take my career in a very short time to a different plateau. So big shout out to my boy Big Lex, Big Mike. Y'all already know what it is. Empire Platinum underscore on Instagram. Y'all already know what it's hitting for. So did they lock you up? I mean, how did this happen? <laughs> nah. so did, I mean, everybody here got arrested almost uh, hundreds of times. <laughs> nah, nah, just 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 you know, visionaries. You know, right now in music, I believe that. If you don't have a person that has a vision along with you, you will fall through the cracks. And these brothers care about my well-being. They care about where I'm going in my, in my music career is the same as I care about them. So we're working hard for each other. It's a family. It's a brotherhood. It's not just like some regular management company and two people getting uh, a few people getting together to try to make some money off each other and call it quits it's a family thing so i'm, I'm happy for that you know to, to to be taking place right now that's cool that's awesome cool. Awesome. Yeah. listen just yeah. met them they don't they don't look like snakes they look like solid so motherfuckers solid brothers you know what i mean like judge a book by his cover some big 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 boys big time things on the horizon so i'm uh big mike we really believe in computer we think he's gonna do big things um I met 15 years ago. I met him uh, actually at work. We met on the <laughs> weird circumstance. I'll let him tell the story. He tells it the best. Um, we're not, we, we weren't your typical cops, me and Alex, who run the management company. I thought you Narcotics know. was here for a minute. Yeah, yeah, you, guys, we look you guys <laughs> rolled in. You order. guys rolled in. I started checking my pockets. <laughs> yeah, we look at it. With the, with the course, I've been neck. clean for four years. Just in case my name was oh, you look very clean. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my but, neighbors uh, are throwing shit in the bushes when they were guys rolling Like out. I said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Mexicans outside yeah. were running. <laughs> <laughs> they were fucking ducking. So our big, our big thing is, you know, like computers, like our family, like we'll treat every artist we have. Um, too Love my Mexicans, by the way. Love my Mexicans over the years, and uh, they take, 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 and not give. We believe in computer. We believe in, uh, you know, helping artists out. You know, and computer will tell you in this game, right? There's a lot of snakes out there, but we're here. We're a family. We're here to work hard, and we believe in this uh, young man, and we believe in unity. Awesome. Definitely. Definitely. So meeting meeting Big Mike was crazy because I'm we we going through Long Island and uh, we going food shopping. Me and my homeboy, and this guy's like, "Oh, you tap my car? Oh, you tap my car?" I'm like, "Man, listen, we don't. There's no scratch on your car, sir." Like, so you know, Big Mike pulls up. He's like, "What's going on here, man? What's the problem?" Oh, these guys tap my car. Pulls out a flashlight, no scratches on the car. He's like, man, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let these kids go where they're going, man. And this is some bullshit. 
And, um, you know, we started to talk. I told him, you know, I was in the music industry for quite some time. This is about 15 years ago, right? 16. Right, right. He was a, he was a peacemaker. He was a great, just a great brother. And then, um, uh, long story short, we just kept in touch because he worked out with um, LL and LL's trainer. And, you know, LL is... Is a, this um, a commercial for Allstate? I just want to make sure. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm getting a feeling, I'm getting a feeling, what's that guy's, the, the black guy's going to jump in the room and try to sell me an insurance policy right now. No, but you know what's crazy? This you is, met by accident. This is true, this is true. But, you know, accidents are the best, the best things that happen Serendipity. in life. Serendipity. You know what I'm saying? So then Big Lex comes... Lex comes in, and I'm like, I tell, I'm, I, I tell Big Mike, I said, I'm shooting a movie. It's coming out on Netflix. It's called Catching a Body. You got to be in it, man. You got to be in it. And Lex came, and it was it was curtains from then, man. We just, you know, just great I knew friends. he was a movie star. I, I knew I had seen him somewhere. I, was a, I don't know if it was the post, the post office or, or, or on Netflix. I wasn't sure. Yeah, so... So Big 75, it's good to see you, man. You're the big, big 75, man. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'm just a regular guy. I'm just trying to come up in the world, you know. I tried the wrong way, and now I'm trying the right way. Right. You know? <laughs> and, you know, everybody has their... It's right. called a process. It's right. called a process. Exactly. I'm starting the process over again. But <laughs> 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 well, they say, you know, you got to keep trying. You right. get knocked down. Listen, for real, you get knocked down in life. And you got to keep getting up. It's not how many times you got knocked down. It's how many times you get up. Right, exactly. And what you do when you get up. Am I right? That's right. All right? Because a lot of motherfuckers are going to get knocked down at some point in their life. And that's what I pride myself on a little bit is that, you know, a lot of people come after me because I was a cop and I was bad. Oh, what the fuck? There's a lot of bad people. <laughs> and I, but, that, but that doesn't, they've done bad things, right? Right. People do bad things doesn't make them necessarily a bad person. Right. You know? And it's how we come out of it and, and, and just keep striving in life. And for me, for me personally, I try to do the right thing all the time. Lawyers get paid to lie every fucking day. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm looking for that job. Is there, is, is there, is there an opening? <laughs> Have you ever thought about stand up? <laughs> You gotta do an open mic. Come on, I, you open know, mic. I was asked by I was asked by uh, Joey Coco Diaz. And no uh, way. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and I was asked by um, uh, the guy whose nose caved in. Um, uh, Audie Lang. Audie, Audie, and both both Audie and, and and Coco asked me to do some st- if I would do some stand up with them. But the thing is, I only got one good, real funny story. So when my girlfriend's dog was, I was in charge of the dog. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the story now. Yeah, all right? Right, right. I'm in charge of the dog. That's my only job is to make sure that the dog that won't eat survives right she's in florida for about a week and uh there's three dogs two of them eat they're not a problem but the one gets really sentimental so the fifth day into it the dog hasn't eaten yet right he's having seizures so i take him and i put him in the pool now the pool's a little bit cool it's june i don't like the pool in june who <laughs> likes the pool in june in new york nobody right right right, right. It. right so i put the dog in the pool and I, and the dog going down i'm getting a little nervous like the dog's trying to I might not come up. You know? yeah. So I go towards the pool, and the dog starts swimming towards me, and he swims towards the side. He looks at me, and he's, I see we make eye, now we make eye contact. I'm like, please, baby, get up here. And he fucking goes under. And turns upside down and starts blowing bubbles out of his nose. He's trying to drown himself. The dog is trying to drown himself. <laughs> he does this two more times. What? Underneath. I'm, uh, I got to go in now. I got to get this thing. He finally... I reach in. I don't, I don't have to go in. I reach in. I grab the dog. I pick him up. He shits all over my chest. <laughs> <laughs> he shits right on my chest. I didn't know the dog ate for five days. How do you shit? You didn't eat for five days. <laughs> he shit all over my chest. And it was the best shit I ever had in my life. <laughs> That dog survived. That's nice. all I care about. That's what's up. That's what's Big up. shout to that dog that survived, yeah. man, for, and, and shitting. The shit One did, job to do. You know, that's great, man. <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit, shit. I was so happy when that dog shit on my chest. It was the best. <laughs> and it was like sick people witnessed this. <laughs> right, 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 right. A little body at the house. But for everybody that, do, that doesn't know, I grew up in, um, I'm from Harlem. I uh, grew up in the South Bronx during the Fort Apache era, 42nd Precinct era. It was a uh, real. It was real. Um, Hip hop was on the rise. Crime was on the rise. Crack. Crack was on the fucking rise. Wow. I mean, I've never seen so much crack and so much drugs and except for Winfrey. But- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was 200 pounds of crack going through an airport. Yeah, you didn't yeah, see yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shout to Oprah, man. She brought, she brought the economy up, I man. love her. <laughs> I'm trying to get on your book club, book Book of the Month Club, please, Oprah. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, um, you know, you had the guys like the OGs, like Melly Mel and them, and they did White Lines and, you know, all of those songs that were big in the disco text about free basing and smoking crack and all that shit. So after a while, you know, you started to get this uh, what's called reality rap, you know, and it started with um, those guys, you know, the Melly Mel's, Grandmaster Flash. Fat boys, they definitely talked about some serious content. Run DMC, no, tons of artists. So, therefore, you had your KRS ones come after that, and they started to talk about you know conscious things and things that were going on in the neighborhood. And that's what happened with me. I just wrote down what I saw, and being that I had that type of environment around me, especially with loved ones, my you could mom, write. You could write. Oh, I'm phenomenal. <laughs> I'm phenomenal, <laughs> man. That's, I mean, that's you know? it's I mean, big not that seven. many people would admit that because that's too white sometimes if you fucking could, if you're right. You know? yeah. Oh, you can write? <laughs> I was Some, te- something wrong with you. I was terrible first. I was really <laughs> a terrible... He's, a, he's I was, backing out of it. He's backing I, out. I, I, you I, don't want to own it. Nah, nah, you I'm don't want to own it. I'm going to own it, but I'm going to tell you guys that <laughs> I, love I was terrible because <laughs> I really didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And my uncle was a, uh, uh, my uncle was a DJ and a rapper. So my uncle kind of like taught me, all right, this is how you should sound over a beat, not off beat. You should be on beat. So he would slice. Uh, uh, you remember the old Walkmans? He would slice it and use one part for the mic and one part to listen to. And that's, that's how I learned how to make records. And uh, um, one of the first records that stuck out was, um, it was called Crack, actually. And um, it was explaining what goes on in the neighborhood when you use this drug, how the drug is manufactured, how it's made, how it affects the, the things that are around us. And that made me very, very, very popular amongst a lot of the elite rappers like Big L and Nas and Big Pun and all of those rappers that were out then because nobody was talking about it in, in such intricate detail. So Those are some like, Hall of Fame... People, you know what I mean? Legendary people. You Best friends of mine. God yeah. bless them. Best friends of mine. I help help me hone my skills, man. And I and I found crack. Huh? How? You smoked it? <laughs> Don't tell me you smoked it. No, man. no, 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 no. I never smoked crack. I should have. But uh, <laughs> I found crack in some guy's mouth. That's how I first found wow. crack. Yeah, it's like I got a, a call, a, a drug deal on the corner of uh, Crescent and Fulton, and a uh, guy was standing there on the corner, matched the description. I said, I said, what's 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 going on here? I didn't see anything obvious, you know. No. He goes, nothing. <laughs> nothing. I go, what? What? Nothing. I go, what's what's the matter? You got something wrong? He goes, dentist. Dentist today. Oh, you're in the dentist. Oh, all right. So I go to get in the car. <laughs> I go to get in the car. And I go, dentist. What am I fucking stupid? <laughs> I turn around, I grab him by the throat, bang! He goes, he's trying to swallow the fucking thing. Right. <laughs> I, I drag him. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I drag, I drag him to the sewer. I go, spit the motherfuckers in the sewer. So he spits it in the sewer because I don't know what it is. Right. No one knows what it is yet. Right. So he spits the shit in the sewer. I get a call fucking 10 minutes later. Manhole cover being removed from the, <laughs> from the fucking street. That's a 400-pound manhole cover. <laughs> Who's going to remove that? Just found out that that was worth something. Wow. <laughs> business, business began. <laughs> no more spitting that shit in the sewer. <laughs> Spit it in your hand and put it in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I, I used to party a lot. and I used to go out with my old boss. He did construction. He had money. I was always just a degenerate gambler. Just God bless assault. You. God Wreckage bless you. This. God bless you. <laughs> we ran out of coke. Next thing you know, it's like four in the morning. We're in the Notion Projects. Wow. And like once I'm in the hallway, I'm like, damn, man, I, I, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> you know what I mean? The next thing you know, we, we got a stem. We took the girl with us. We're in like some behind some baseball field. I was doing coke all night. I got this pigtail dick. I'm smacking her off my stomach. She's blowing him. And I'm like, I just want to go home. I don't want to smoke crack. I don't want to fucking shove my dick in this lady. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like at that 
point, it's like, I can't believe I went along for this ride this long. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sun's coming up. I hate when that happens. Uh, I should be watching war- weird porn at home right yeah, now by, by you're myself. Safe. <laughs> yeah. You weren't safe, were you? No, no. no, no. <laughs> my mom, my mom actually, God rest her soul. Um, she put me up on crack. She put me up on not to use it. She put me on to people to stay away from because she was a, a, a very, very. She, my mom went through a lot with that with that drug, you know, and um. I would go look for her in every crack oh, hole, shit, uh, crack house in Harlem. Wow. I'm kicking doors, doors down. Nine, wow. ten years old. I'm looking for my mom, right. and I'm getting my mom out of these crack houses. I really didn't understand it. You got to remember, I'm a kid when this came out. I'm still playing with GI Joe dolls. Right, right, right. So you know, when I really found out like the damage that um, it, it, it did to people in, in our, our community, it made me. It made me actually really hate that drug because of I, what I saw happen to my mom. It took such of a beautiful lady from her prominence to absolutely nothing. And that's what made me say, yo, you know what? I got to speak about this. I got to speak about this in my music. I got to speak about this to as many people as I can because I want to be able to be a positive influence somehow that this doesn't happen to a kid. Uh, 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 another family maybe if I just speak a couple of words in my music that I could curve this negative I would call it a demon exactly is what it is because that's what it looked like when it hit the city it took control it took control it took control of every facet of life right in the city right every facet it was it was in government Yes. It ran the government. Yes. It drew, it drove the court system, the police, the the, the, the attorneys, private attorneys, the district attorneys. Yeah. The, the 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 court officers. We were told to stop making arrests for crack, which wow. is which is the other side of the story. Right. Okay, right. because it was futile. And you would take someone off the street and there'd be someone to take their place and just cost the city fifteen, twenty thousand dollars between overtime process fees right. you know whatever the cost is to run up someone through a system to have them out on parole probation it was it was ruinous so if you were a police officer back then you were discouraged outwardly discouraged from making arrests for crack cocaine right and that was that to me like you know to me so that's the other side of this yeah, yeah, and we, we we make light of it today but it was horrific yeah, back yeah, then no, i mean it's, yeah. it, it's worse than the pandemic is now. Oh yeah, no, it was it, it destroyed the city. It destroyed yeah. everything. Everything that crack came near, it destroyed. Now, mind you, you know, we coming outside to play. We kids, man. It's like a thousand crack valves. Oh yeah, yeah. you know, we red taking, tops, we, green tops, we, we yellow taking, tops. We was taking crack valves and just just throwing them at people. It was just normal to see that. You know, it was normal. I knew some guys that turned into the cottage industry. They they turned them. They turned the the, the vials back in. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, empty yeah, vials, yeah, yeah. The empty vials. Well, like we turn bottles today. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, it was true. Yeah, you know why? Because a lot of uh, back then, you know, back then, if you turned them in, you made money off of them mm-hmm. because the vials were really hard to get. Yeah, they were yeah. really, really hard to obtain. So people was telling all of the kids to pick it up, and you yeah. made your extra money doing that as a kid, yes. eight, nine years old. Yes. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? So it's amazing. Now, There's no Amazon back it's then. Amazing. <laughs> Outside and turn some vows and then make like two, three hundred dollars back. Yeah. And, and, and when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? And, and we kind of started looking forward to that. And, um, you know, my mom it's got a whole a, economy, man. My, my, my mom got a wind of it. My grandma, <sighs> brother, <laughs> let me tell you something, man. I thought that I would never see the light of day, <laughs> nor did I think I would see. Matter of fact, let me cut that. I never thought that I would see adulthood. Well, my grandmother found out because she was so um, protective of me because she saw something in me and that was my music. She knew I was very adamant about that. And, you know, she knew I had such, you know, my family has such um, uh, um, problems with addiction to this stuff, you know. And she just was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to let this happen to my to my kid. What's 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 your what's your song that everybody knows you for? I got, I, I'm new to this. I mean, you know, I'm a really I'm a rap star artist, but you pa- know. past or present? Past. Well, well, what would I have known? Um, I mean, I was in the joint in the '90s, so if that's when you became. Oh, you was in the joint in the '90s. Yeah, okay. yeah '90s to 2000. How, how y'all want it? Itty bitty hustler with me and Mr. Cheeks. Oh yeah. Um, pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. Um. 
Shit. All right, you're going. Yeah, yeah. You uh, had some. Uh, uh, you had some. Some numbers. Um, New York, New York. The Frank Sinatra remix with Fred Maneo. Oh, Select I want. Record. I want to hear that. I want to yeah, hear that. Yeah, we one. got. We get. We got some classic. I want to hear man. that one. And and listen, the reason where we met the the song like that was a powerful song, and you've been writing like positive music since even back in the day. Just, right, right, right. And and it, like I was going to do this on a random Sunday. People are like, where are you? What are you doing? I'm. I'm uh, opening, doing some comedy for a music video. Yo, I'm like, yo, this song's gonna be good. I'm, I'm like, like, I'm right. not like the biggest music person, but like, yo, right, right. The inspiration, the shit that's going on in the world. I, because you kept hearing it over and over again, because you keep taking takes of him and to get the video right. Right. I'm like, yo, this is gonna blow up. It's gonna be on the radio, and like, yeah, man. I'm now just life having you here, the new management. Right. You know I mean, just that positive energy and just right. bringing. Yeah, you know I man. For whatever reason, we're in the same room together. You're know right. talking right. about. I mean, just the positivity and you seeing a lot of I mean, shit back in the day. Yeah, yeah, both yeah, of you. Both yeah, of you. Yeah. Both the 70, uh, seven fives. Now, don't, get, now don't get it twisted. There was a time when, you know, when my grandma passed away that I became full hardcore street guy. I was not, I was just like, I didn't care about life. I didn't care about anything. My mom was strung out on crack. My grandmom's dead. My father's in jail doing 30 years. I didn't care about anything. There was nothing to care about. So there was that, the, the light side of me wasn't there. There was this side of me that death and life meant the same thing to me. So, of course, I got involved in the streets and hustling and gang banging and doing a whole bunch of shit. And then um, one day, this one particular day, this this lady, God bless her, God bless her, her name was Alona. And she said, you are so talented. You don't belong out here, kid. She was like, I'm, I'm telling you, you you just are so talented. I see so much more in you. And if you stay out here, you're not going to make it long. And me, I'm, I'm one of those type of people that if you tell me something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take heed to it. So I was like, bam. Not too long after that, man, somebody tried to take my head clean off my shoulders, murder me. Three day, about three days later. And she said, you know what? If you don't listen to this call... If you don't listen to this call here, your next time you ain't going to be that lucky. So I went in my house and I just wrote a whole bunch of music, man. And I went down, dressed up like a garbage man, because I was trying to get into these buildings like Def Jam and all of that. And I'm like, hey, I'm fit. here to come <laughs> you know, get the garbage from such and such. I knew all of the floors. So that's how I wound up um, dropping my demos off to different companies. And that's how I wound up getting sound to select records by being fronting as a garbage man. I love it. I love it. So, I'm going to drop this garbage off here. Yeah, right? oh, I'm going to drop this garbage off. Let me get this can. Why are you here? Put this in. <laughs> and I got my first $500,000 up front. Um, tons of gold records after that. And um, that's when Computer was born. And um, every record that I put out after that was a success. I I've never sold anything less than 490,000 units in my career either platinum gold or that that was the least i've sold so those are nice yeah, numbers we'll too like we'll break that i mean no no numbers not to sneeze at you know what right, I mean? that, right, right 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 that gets people's attention right you know? right right <laughs> hold on hold on i should have got that from the Diaz organization what the fuck <laughs> they were throwing a lot of bricks around too you know <laughs> right platinum well, I did get the, a lot of platinum did get the honor to come to see me Come to HMV, man, and see me do an in-store signing, man, for my first gold album. That was just like that was that was everything. I didn't care if nobody saw me. My mom got to see me, and she was so proud, man. And I was like, I did it, like I did it, like I did it. And it's nothing like that feeling of I did it. But now, me and Alex and Mike are together, man. We got so much more to go. There's so much more charts to, to top. So many more records to break. So many of my own records to break, so much more energy to put into what we're doing. So um, that's dope, and we got Big Seventy Five here, yeah. man. We got Big Seventy Five in the building. Listen, I'm just in for the, I'm here for the ride and the steak dinner. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> oh, oh, Popeyes! You all right? I, I get, I'll take a Popeyes hot Louisiana chicken. All right? I mean, Louis, there's Louisiana, Louisiana, there's Pennsylvania. There's a story. Is that there's the one story. over there? There's a story. <laughs> no, because the Seventy Five. If people don't know, my doubt. You gotta see the documentary, the seven five. What the fuck are you doing? Have a missionary sex? Get your life together. Stop yeah. looking at her in the eyes and watch the seven five. Stop missionary sex. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And, and, but Mike, that just from 
getting arrested there buying weed when I'm younger to work in UPS there. Just seeing all the, the neighborhood. I, I think it was a thousand Sutter. Was yeah, a thousand right? Sutter. If yeah. I remember, you were right there. By, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I didn't get arrested. There. I got arrested in this, the the other one by uh, seven three. Yeah, but, uh, Brownsville. Cl- yeah, closer on the other side of the L from yeah. the train. Now, yeah, yeah. The, seven three. Yeah, yeah, by the car dealership and yeah, shit over yeah, there yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Illegally nice. searched in Pennsylvania and Lind- uh, Pennsylvania and. Um, Liberty, like just, yeah, yeah. You, know I mean? you, got you know what I mean? Just stories for days. Illegally, he got illegally searched. <laughs> <laughs> listen, they, I listen. Now I, you're a white guy in the ghetto. <laughs> Yo, gotta get illegally searched. <laughs> They're looking Back for- in the day, anyway. <laughs> not, to, not today. It's all on camera. <laughs> Man, I'd be a millionaire, my wild New Jersey, looking at my dick. Nobody be a times, millionaire. How many times my dick was looked at? And like, then they were illegally searching me in the precinct. I like opened my ass cheeks on purpose. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, just yeah, like, guys, yeah. come on, come on, get out of here. Get like, there. you're gonna look at my fucking get in. my yeah. asshole if you're gonna yeah. illegally strip search and embarrass me in front of fucking over some fucking weed. You know what I mean? Like, right. oh, really? Yeah. And the people that still bust like people's balls in 2021 with weed, it's like, man, we made it through the storm. You know what I mean? We, yeah. I've been arrested. So my, my weed dick. is legal right now, and I've never smelled so much weed in the air since uh, I was yeah. a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I guess when Cheech and Charm made their movie in the 80s or whatever the case may be, because my grandfather used to smoke some shit that would look like a tree. It was tied to some type of... Uh, like a chocolate tie or something? Yeah, like some, it was tied to a string, and he got blazed off of this shit. I didn't know what the hell this shit was, man. And he was like, yeah, you know, tell him, me and my dad, you come bring me some of that, 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 that Acapulco something. I don't know what the fuck the <laughs> weed is now, but then, but I know what weed is now, but he smoked this shit on a stick. I didn't even understand it. And they, they didn't even give a fuck that they were smoking it in front of a six-year-old. <laughs> I was like, I guess it's not that bad if they gonna smoke in front of me. You know what I'm I don't saying? smoke that shit. I pr- propose marriage and shit every time I... <laughs> wow, we should really get together and make this happen. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> but I, I, and I love how they got it wrong. In, in the sense, like, you want a blowjob, and the next thing you know, the girl's giving you anal. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to make it legal. Oh, by the way, you can have five pounds. Wait, like, you... five pounds? Like, wow. What? You can have up to five pounds? Like, what? Yeah, you can... yeah like, in what the house. fuck? Like, all I wanted was a blowjob. Uh-huh. Now you're giving me anal and <laughs> fuck your sister, too? Five pounds? But you want to hear something? I've never, I've never really been a weed smoker. Where'd I've you get that really... offer? Where'd you get that offer? <laughs> I've never really been a weed smoker. My thing was, you know, I like to have a little uh, uh, Hennessy or yeah, something like that. Yeah. But for That's like weed... a Dominican move, you know. Yeah, That's like yeah, a di- yeah, you got a little Dominican yeah, swag or something going on. You know, you know what it is with me? The Bronx, Dominican, certain kids. Chapel well, Hill, just to let Chapel you know, I'm Puerto Hill. Rican, Irish, and West Indian, okay, so you, you know I got like jock. Yeah, 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 yeah I got cut. a little bit. A little cut. That might shake it, out the Puerto Rican. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we call it a cut. We call it a little cut. You got some cut. So, so with me, I, every time I smoke weed, I got paranoid, man. Oh yeah, I don't do that. Well, like, like feet. seriously, my feet. Paranoid, I don't feel my feet. <laughs> I start looking around and shit. Yeah, I'm starting to touch my face. And I hate that fucking oh, yeah, feeling, don't do bro. that. They think you're on the dope then. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm don't feeling, do that. I'm going like this. I'm touching my arms. I'm yeah. like, nah, nah, this ain't for me. Yeah. And uh, my uncle was like, listen, you got two different kinds of weeds. You got sativa yeah. and you got indica. One makes, you, one makes you fuck no. amped up. <laughs> one makes you kind of relax. Yeah. So we watching, uh, what's this? Willie Dynamite, an old pimp movie from the black exploitation era. He has a, a tripod. In the, in God the- bless him. <laughs> God bless him. I mean, I'm trying. Shout, shout to my uncle CMD, Cut Master Dawn. So, I'm trying. So he's like, yo, you got a wedding I'm rag. Irish, but I'm doing okay. Okay. You, so we got something in common. Yeah, we got All right. Blue eyes. I'm Irish. Yeah. Sure. So, <laughs> so he says, put something wet over your head. like Get, get like a wet towel, a wet rag or whatever, and, you know, and uh, just inhale as much as you can. And I inhaled, and I don't know what the fuck the difference was with the sativa or anything, because I still felt fucking paranoid. I ran the fuck out of the house. My uncle didn't see me for another six, seven hours. <laughs> I went to the hospital. I went. <laughs> oh yeah, you reminded me of my my you my, my, you remind me of Alex's brother. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I went to the hospital, bro. Oh, yeah, I, was like, I won't say anything else. <laughs> but, but, but you, but you know what's cool? If you got weed, you the man, though. 
If you have now? weed, you're the man. If you got, yeah, because you know a lot of times. Good weed now. I thought it was yayo now. No, 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 you should light up tonight. I right? had a bunch of plants out there in the fucking ready to pick them. The god that took them up. Cocksuckers. You know what was crazy? <laughs> Co- to to me, coke was so much like crack. <laughs> yeah, well, I can. Yeah, I can. Except you just, just sniffing it. I, yeah. And I really don't give a fuck because You're okay I got with, friends that do that. You yeah, know, that's I got, all right. I'm I got friends I grew up with that do all sorts it. of yeah, drugs. I, listen, listen. Shrooms, I'm, I'm drug free today. I'm clean. I'm sober. Four, four years. Four, four. four years. Yeah. yeah. Straight. No, not a drink or a drug. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Wow, nice. Good. I mean, you know, I, I did 12 years in a joint too. Yeah, together. Wow. <laughs> wow. But right, there's a little gap. No wonder you look so young. Yeah, you see, I am famous. Cut. But the one thing is, there's a, there's a, there's a. I want you to know, there's a really, really good cigar shop in Long Island called Long Island Cigars on uh, Bohemia, in Bohemia, on Sunrise Highway, north side, next to the steakhouse. There's an Irish steakhouse there. Right, right. Yeah, right. yeah. It's, it, it's a fun, it's just, it, 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 it's just opening up. It's the biggest cigar shop on Long Island. It's called Long Island Cigars. It's, it's, it's got about 15, 20, t- wow. 60 inch TVs yep. in, in the fucking place. Is that, is that Sunrise, the, is that close to the, to the Walmart? Uh, no, it would be close. You know where if you know where Costco's is on, yeah, 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 on yeah, Sunrise yeah, Highway, yeah, yeah, out by Saville, Islip, right, Oakdale, Bohemia, right, right out there. It's, it's huge. The place is huge. Right. You right. get lost in there. Yeah. If you got to follow the smoke to see who's, what's going on in there. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Right. Will they have? Will they have the seven fives? Uh, we're we're negotiating right now. You know, because you know my, the, cigar, the cigar is controversial. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, I, I have your tank top from when we met at the tavern lounge. And that's that, controversial. Yeah. People. <laughs> well, it, it's like it's probably a, it's like a 70, 30, starter. 80, 20. It's a conversation starter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then people like, oh, me with my reputation, then that. Yeah, that like, makes oh. sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I got, yo, listen, I got to give a shout to some people, man, while I'm on the air, man. I got to shout out. I got to shout out a couple people. You mind Big 75? Go right ahead. All right, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Big 75. You know like what I'm saying? <laughs> This is your show, bro. I'm just, uh, I'm just here to soup it up. I'm here with another. Se- <laughs> I'm yo, here to I'm, soup this yo, up. I'm actually hyped up that I'm here with another seventy-five. That there guy. you go. There Listen, you go. But you know what makes this great? Bam. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Bam. <laughs> That's been, all right. He has the, he has the seven-five so on his shit. I'm so happy that we're not on fucking video right now. Okay. That's very embarrassing. All right? <laughs> All right, I got next time I'm gonna wear a T-shirt and plaster it to my fucking back. That's not cool. I just want you to know I just got showed up. So I listen, was, I, I didn't know what he was gonna show me, but that is not cool. It's a seven five it's, tattoo computer seven five. It's not part of the tripod. Yeah, it's not part of the tripod that he was talking. About. Yo, I gotta give a shout out to old Ru- old rules music, man. Shout out to old rules, man. Much respect to you guys. Gold Toes, Franz GT, and um, you know the whole dig- uh, digital distribution system, man. You know for looking out and um, being supportive to um, Computer Seven Five and my management team. You know Empire Platinum, and um, we here, man. I'm 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 really really um, thankful for the support and all you guys been doing, man. And um, I look forward to you know giving you guys more stuff to work with and more stuff to build our brand up. You know, so awesome, awesome. Um, well, Mike, do you have uh, what do you have going on? Anything? Because we have, uh, I think, Mr. Cheeks and them downstairs. Peace of my the... life, too. The single is out right now. Peace of my life, go get it. It's a, it's about pieces of my actual life. It's about loss of my mother. It's about redemption. Um, it's about uh, losing people and being able to snap back from it. You know what I'm saying? Because in life, we lose so much. And sometimes we think that we're, we're so strong and that we got it covered and we really don't. We need, Everybody needs somebody. So that was my way to kind of vent to the world and just share it with everybody. Like, you know, these are just pieces of who I am as a man. And, you know, if you're listening and you want to support me and you want to show any kind of love, it doesn't matter what it is. Love can come in all types of different situations and forms. It could come from... Just a person shouting your music out. Like, yo, man, I respect your song. That's a piece of, that's love. You know what I'm saying? And rest in peace to DMX, man. And um, also rest in peace to Black Rob, man. Two 
two phenomenal hip hop artists that we lost so so uh, fast, so recent. Yeah, no. It's... And um, they definitely had a major impact on hip hop as well as myself. So you know, just want to shout those people out, man, and um, just look forward to us giving you some more um, heart pounding music, heartfelt music. And um, yes, the distribution company right here, man, um, on Pieces of My Life. 41,000 GT Digital Distribution. Shout out to DGT. It's just so dope, man. Shout out to my man, DR Period. What's up, bro? And um, again, shout out to GT Digital Distribution, man. It's, um, it's had 44,000 views. 44,000 44, right at this moment. 270 views in three days. And I can't do anything but just give them the utmost love and respect and say thank you so much and i got some great music on the way some more music and i just look look forward to growing with you guys and being successful and grabbing some of these grammys and some of these awards up man because this is a um this is a very very beautiful moment in my life and in my career so thank you gt man i appreciate y'all man digital distribution m easy much love you already know what it is computer seven five and listen, we're going to send, uh, obviously, we're going to tag computer and, and uh, the song below um, so everyone can check it out. And uh, I apologize. Usually, I eat the edible in the beginning of the show. Right. So right, I started right. feeling it a little. Yeah, no, and, no, and I'm thing, like, yeah, hey, I'm here, somebody get in. I just, I just <laughs> cut away from you quick. My bad, computer. No, and, yo, no. appreciate you coming through just like that day, just meeting someone and then just, yeah, they're in your studio by right, chance. Right, Take right. Take the mask off. Like, oh, I know this fucking I, I, was, <laughs> I couldn't believe that, like. That I wa- I witnessed the the uh, the process of like the two years looking at each other. <laughs> right, right, right. And like, wait, wait, we know each other. Right, 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 <laughs> like, right. what the fuck? And then you tell me that I, we know each other too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remembered the, the big guy at the at yeah, yeah. the at the the shootout. Uh, the ball at the tavern, shootout. Tavern the ball lounge. at the shootout. Yeah, yeah, tavern lounge. <laughs> the and night Big of, T. The Big night T. Of, I want to thank you, man, for having us here, man. Yeah, this is course, dope, bro. Yeah. And and listen, in the summer, I'm gonna do a uh, concert series. I, I mean, I I hope I'm not small time here, but we're gonna in the man, back deck, listen, back deck here with this. <laughs> I walked into that. Yo, one. listen, man. I'm down for whatever because guess what? You know, it's not it's not about how big the crowd is. It's about who's in the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. There you go. Good comedy, a guy on the grill and the flat top making edibles. People, just, it's gonna be a vibe, man. It's gonna be awesome. Right. It's gonna be a scene, and, and you're more than welcome. Just life, putting people back together. I follow you on Instagram, yo. Definitely. We'll, we'll definitely link up. And Mike, it's always an open invite. I know. This I, guy yeah. in the summer, he got the the Miami Vice coat on with the tank top on underneath. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> yeah I, I I got told to stop wearing that thing. I, but, uh, fuck you that. Know, I want I want to thank Mikey Mikey Dowd for this. Uh, for setting us up, uh, he's putting us all together. You know, uh, he made a lot of this happen. Uh, like me and Alex, former cops, a lot of guys talk shit, uh, hanging out with Mike. You know, Mike's a great guy. The past is the past. That's what it is. That's why it's called behind us. My grandmother told us that. We look forward to everything going forward. Mike's a good guy. Mike's our friend. If people have a problem with that, that's it. But uh, we look for the good in everybody. And everybody deserves a second chance. That's what we believe in. So uh, shout out to Mike. We'll, we'll work with Mike. We'll work with a lot of people. Uh, Mikey's a great guy. And uh, I wish him the best, too, and I'd like to thank him a lot. Awesome. Thank you, guys. 75, man. Thank you for making this happen, bro. You are the man, just, Big 75. Listen, you know what it is? Everybody should show everybody love in this world. That's really what it is. Yeah, right. you know, you, you don't have to kill yourself for people, but just show a little love, man. Yeah. Give everybody a little shot. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we pay the light bill no, here? That, that's, the, that's, that's, the, that's the old me. I'm knocking the door. I'm like, it's the marshal. I'm like, no, it's the, it's the weed guy. Hey, hey, Alex, put your hands down. What are you doing? <laughs> um, but listen, I, um, I appreciate you guys coming through and Mike I did, after this after we eat our Popeyes yeah, I won't leave I'm gonna get a free I'm, meal you know that's, I'm, 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 I gotta I'm, get me a meal I'm posting up I'm watching the 7-5 like probably like the 30th time legit <laughs> again tonight I'm gonna show my girl like tell all the spots you know what I mean you know how many guys got laid over this fucking 7-5 not me <laughs> <laughs> one guy told me he got married he got three kids because he met a girl said you wanna watch this movie she loved it they, they got married what the fuck Fucking awesome! So, so if I if I got you a seventy five tattoo, a big seventy five tattoo, would you be down to get one? Yeah, I've never. 
Well, just show them. 18 and a quarter. 18 and a quarter. I'll 18 and a quarter. Yeah. Come on, we got to get you one, man. <laughs> I, I, I can't promise you because the, my body is a temple. All right? All right, all right, man. Uh, yeah. I'll get another one for you, then. I've resisted this long. I've resisted. Listen, I spent 12 and a half years in prison. I didn't get a tattoo. You know what I mean? I would have my balls tattooed or something. You know I, 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 I just, my, my family, the boys don't get tattoos in my family. That's oh, what, that's okay, what, uh, okay. So you know what? I'll get a. Separate... I get a stick on though. Oh, yeah, no, no, the stick I on the an event. Yeah, yeah, no, stick on the spine. <laughs> I, I think I actually get one on the other leg. All right, brother. All right, big seven five. Big seven like five. Mike, do you have anything else besides seven the five? No, I don't want to promote nothing. I'm, I'm here for them. You well, know listen, I mean? check out the documentary yeah. and just fuck it. Yeah, just old I'm, working with, I'm, I'm working with MGM on getting the movie produced. Oh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. You know, and everybody talks a good story, though. You know, they got a little retainer on me, so I can't do too much. Yeah, yeah. You know? Noel, you don't want to you don't want to get the lawyers involved. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what happens. So I got to be well, listen, careful. The Big 7-5, Mike Dow, Computer 7-5. Computer 7-5. Yeah. Get his music. Follow him on YouTube. Are you on YouTube? YouTube, man. Computer 7-5. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, man. Computer 7-5 yeah. so, everywhere. I'm so happy for him. You know, When I heard he had a 7-5, I had to get involved. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. All right. God All bless. right, man. Peace out. Peace out. I don't know what